Valente out injured by all accounts. And the other change is Diraj in goals. He's back. Elis Sabia, as I said, no Brazilian has played more games in the Hero Ice held than that defender. The only two words in football that matter. Kick off. Let's football. Go and need uh, I remind you are in the all orange. They are the Gores. Seriton Fernandes is tonight playing his 99th game. And that's brilliant. He's overtaken Manda Rangasai. Here we go. Opening here. There are chances either side. Big, big chances. And the ball has gone wide. But it was a big opportunity. And Noah might have taken the shot on. Chose to play it inside. And they get nothing at the end of it. Ball across. It's in the net now. It's in the net now, and what a start we have here. And Ika Guarachena gets his first goal in the Hero Indian Super League in less than two minutes. Welcome back, fans. Well, the foot order has exploded as well it might. Gristina in the right place at the right time. Look how quickly that's been taken from Brandon. And Edu Badia just whips it in, not allowing Jamshedpur time to set themselves defensively. Will it upset the balance of Goa or will it spur them on? Lovely ball in here and it's two. Wowee, what a response here. And it's Noah with his second goal in the colours of Goa who, uh, who sends them two goals clear inside 12 minutes. We were just talking about how they were going to cope. There's applause on the touchline. Uh, doesn't matter who gets the goals, but Noah, sharp as attack, has made it 2-0. And he's a wonderful alternative to Vasquez, isn't he? Personally, I've been disappointed that we've not seen uh, much of Vasquez so far this season. This is Boris again. In Liana's cross, deep, headed down. Chance here for Wellington. That's miles over the top. I can continue what I was saying about Vasquez. We thoroughly, we savoured his performances last year for Kerala Blasters when he was joint top scorer. He's obviously got an injury. Another long and another searching ball. They're now to pick Noah out, don't they? And he's good on one-on-one -on -one situations. Let's see how good. Inside, outside, back on the outside again. Chipped it far post, too far, I fancy. A false nine, because Noah's drifting out into these wide areas and causing all sorts of problems. That just let him down. The last delivery, the last touch, but that will come with time. 19 caps. Another chance for Noah here. He's got goal side of Dinliana. Oh, he gets his feet all tied up in a knot, and no question. Look at this, it's just a pass in behind him. He tries to cut across, and then look, there he just stumbles himself, and he's on his way down. It's not a penalty in a month of Sundays, John. Half-time team talk's going to be interesting, especially in the Jumpshed Poor dressing room. Is he onside? He is, it's Noah. Could he make it three? Down he goes, and the referee says no penalty again, and Noah again livid didn't quite react as sharp as he might have done. Slightly extended, it's a soft one, don't get me wrong, it's outside the box contact, that's a free kick outside the box. Baruch, good turn here from Priori. Wellington with the shot, Dirac with the save. Well, Dirac continues to make good saves. Stunning nice save. height. Yeah. Yeah. Boris again though. Sorry, Mace, just to interrupt him to see what those twinkling feet can conjure up now. Wellington might get another shot in, he does, and Dirac falls in a second time. One last opportunity for Noah to show us his worth, and he'll slip, he must run across, off the bar, and Hartley manages to clear it to safety. But uh, Radim Talak was almost on the score sheet for the second time this season. As has the whole of Goa, but Radim will be bitterly disappointed. He didn't bury that one to give him a 3-0 lead right on the stroke of half time. Whoops. Oh, goalkeeping, what's it all about? So it won't get into the net because it's a trickler in the end from Goricena. The last game that we saw as well. Oh, and another mistake here. Chuck will this time. This is. Well, it's another case of crazy comedies. And he should say he should have scored. I know Glenn Martins has put him off there, but he had the whole net to aim at. Mr. Nagakani and Mr. Sawant. They need a goal, and they nearly got a goal as well. Diving header from Sawyer. Can't get off the mark yet, the Australian. It's a chance. It's a big chance as well. It's off the ground. It was ever so well. Head and shoulders above everybody else, but flicks. It was fantastic for them. It's got a brilliant goal against Chennai. Sawyer smacked it in, and still the opportunity. Scott and wide, finally. 
Look at Badia. Look at the gap available to him to play that ball exactly where he wanted. Goal coming on strongly, looking for goal number three. On the spin, shot, net, 3-0. What a lovely, lovely moment for FC Goa to go three goals clear and Bryson Fernandes has arrived in the Hero Indian Super League. 3-0. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Goa. And it all started in the middle of the park with Edu Badea just pulling the strings. Just a nonchalant flick out wide. And the ball gets whipped in. And that touch there, you just thought, mm, it's got away from him. But how about that second touch? He'll be highly delighted as the final whistle sounds. 21-year-old Brighton Fernandes completed the scoring.